Hello guys, I'm back again with another model review and this is the Ferrari 250 GTO 1 to 18th scale. Um, I absolutely love this model and I will tell you in a minute why but I'll just give you a bit of the background information on the actual car itself. Um, it was produced between 1962 and 1964 and 39 were produced. Uh, it had a 3 litre V12 engine which produced 300 horsepower and a 5 speed manual gearbox which was pretty good for 1960s. This car did obviously race in events such as Le Mans and things such as like that. Now the thing I love about the 250 DTO is it's swooping and very striking bodywork um, and it's general beauty that it beholds. So maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't but for me it's a very beautiful car. So this is obviously the uh, race version um, with the uh, air intakes and um, multiple other air intakes. So I'll start with the uh, paint finish. The paint finish is, um, as you can see, finished to an absolutely exceptional standard. Um, it's been painted and then polished to give the best possible result. Um, I'll just turn the lights off for you so you can see the uh, paint better. You really, uh, as you can see, it does have a um, very nice dark, deep red to it. And I, I absolutely love that colour. It goes absolutely perfectly on this model. So, I'll just go and turn the light back on, uh, otherwise you'll be able to see the up closes. So, starting at the front, uh, here we have absolutely exceptional detail in the lights, indicators and fog lights. Uh, with chrome trimmings around them and these exquisitely, um, exquisite little air intakes. They uh, don't have any mesh, so the air just goes in there and then actually just cools the engine without... Um, yeah, it just cools the engine basically. <laughs> so the little grill is there uh, with the really exceptional Ferrari prancing horse that has been chromed, and that just looks brilliant to me. Uh, it's kind of yeah, there's mesh detailing there. I'll try and get a torch on in there. You can't really see it very well because my torch is dying. But if I use the pointer, you can kind of get a feel for it. So the front is beautiful, as I've said already. Um, just looks stunning, really. The Ferrari logos here. Just forgot about that for a second. The Ferrari logos there. It's print. It's painted on. Sorry, along with the twenty-two, number twenty-two of the car. The Wheels are finished again to an exceptional standard. The spokes look absolutely phenomenal. Um, they are, generally do look absolutely brilliant. And when they're spinning, they do you do get a feel for it. Underneath, I don't usually show you this, but underneath there's a lot of detailing on this car. You can see from the engine to the exhausts where they are chromed at the tip, along with the... Uh, belly plating plate wait, sorry belly yeah you know what I mean the belly um decking kind of thing so you do really get a lot of detail Kyosha really do um put a lot of effort into their models which I absolutely love to get into the engine well, first of all I'll show you the uh, intakes here we have a piece of plastic which underneath it has a very nice metal mesh type thing that obviously is an intake on this side we have a piece of we have basically have that the same on this side here but there's a uh, tunnel and a piece of plastic where the air will go in there and down there the uh, straps do not actually work they are not moving hardware they are just plastic molded as well as these kind of clip pegs so to get into the engine we just like I usually 
grab this intake and just open it so we can just see this glorious V12 engine it does look absolutely stunning you can see all 12 cylinder heads as well as pipes that actually move and these are the parts where the air intakes would go to the and feed the engine it does say Ferrari along these parts of the engine but they are very tiny mold, very tiny and molded on you can see a, you can see a glistening piece of chrome um, chrome workings in there as well as many um, just chrome pieces and plastic uh, tubing it's very nice even though it's not all made of metal but plastic but I still think it makes the car absolutely exceptional so the engine does look absolutely um, brilliant so that's basically the engine and the doors um, side here um, I, like, I love the painted uh, dots and stripes they look really really brilliant as well as the 22 that's been painted here and the tiny little door handle which you can physically which you can actually grab and just open the door as such the uh, piece of plastic is thick for the uh, model but that gives you more of kind of like a handmade and like Kyosho like to do things like this and just like to make you appreciate the model a lot more the windscreen itself is very nice it's this lovely um, piece of plastic which gives a really brilliant um, reflection off of basically everything and these windscreen wipers they are also being chromed and finished to an exceptional standard inside we have the seats and flooring it's not a carpet but it is this textured kind of material it goes in lines and yeah it's just there really it's just really nice the bolts on the inside of the um, doors are present as well as the gear lever and steering wheel and dials which I'll show you over this side um, pedals are also present and you might not be able to see in there but the yeah there we go you can see pedals gear lever steering wheel which does turn the wheels mine's a bit broken so it doesn't really work and a missing speedo which is a correct feature and handbrake so just close the doors they are these nice catches which gives it a more realistic feel and so we turn to the back of the car where we have the fuel filler cap and the boot which is liftable you can see the uh, massive um, tubing here for the fuel to uh, pass through and the there is a uh, spare tyre in dent there but obviously it's the race trim version there is no spare tyre at the back you can see the uh, diamond sort of shaped decking as well as this kind of um, plastic air, um, air intake although not really an air intake but yeah you know what I mean at the back we have indicator lights headlights as well as these kind of bolts that are present and these really nice chromed exhausts they do look very nice I must admit the back you can see more of this exceptional paint detailing as well as these kind of holes sort of like vents at the sides if we uh, bring it back around the front I'll show you the uh, working suspension that is present again this just really adds to the uh, more collector's side to this model seeing as Kyosha really do like to incorporate as much as they can into models such as this one <laughs> the price of this model was £115 with postage and packaging on eBay um, I highly recommend you do get this model um, the RRP I believe is £180-£190 so I was saving a good £70-£80 and even at £180-£190 I really do see why 
they price it at that because this model is to an exceptional standard and really um, the discount just made it even better really so this is obviously made by Kyosho they do give us the best possible results with their models and it really shows here so that's basically the end of this model so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching